It was like, you know, on the opposite end of that, like when you overcome it and you face it, you're running through it, you're running to it, you know, and that's a very, very big, big difference because coping is running away and overcoming is running through. And What's good, y'all? Just finished a, a light workout, a little game day workout. I like to get some shots up, just get a feel for it. Um, I think it's like like almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna chill for a little bit, finish my smoothie, and then we got shoot around at two. So shoot around, we just get some shots up, and then we go over scout plays, things like that, defensive assignments, all that good stuff. And then after that, we have pregame meal, and then it's just relax until the game the game's at seven so probably get to the gym around 5 30 and we'll take it from there but yeah let's get to it what's good y'all we just finished shoot around it's about 355 right now about to go have a pre-game meal i'm gonna go cook and then we're gonna get ready for the game man it's game day let's get this dub we at home got my boy t with me yes sir so yeah we about to get ready for that and uh i'm gonna update y'all after the game so see y'all after we get this dub What's good, y'all? So I just got done with dinner. Just finished up a couple of homework assignments. And now I'm gonna get to some editing and probably unwind for the rest of the night. We got the dove, so anytime you can get a win, it's a good night, good day. So we played well as a team, came away with the dub on our home court. And now we gotta get ready for our next game, which is Tuesday, so we got a little bit of time in between. We play Army, and we're heading down there to play them at West Point. So yeah, just gonna prepare for that, but. Like I said, just finished some homework, dinner. So now I'm probably just gonna edit and then cool it for the rest of the night. Don't really have too much, too much going on for the rest of the night. Um, one thing that I want to get back to is just, you know, my night routine. Like I think I've been skipping over some steps just because I've been so anxious to edit and I've been having so much fun with the content and stuff. And um, sometimes I lose track of time and it gets so late that I can't really give my night routine the my night routine the intention 
that I really want to be because it really is kind of like a very peaceful time for me to just kind of unwind and get ready for bed and get ready for that rest, you know, and I kind of want to get back to that. And, you know, I'm not like tripping on it and I understand that it's just the way it is. And I think that's something that you got to remember. You have to be able to adapt to, you know, kind of whatever life is throwing at you because sometimes you're going to have a lot on your plate and you're not and you might not be able to do everything the way that you want to do it or the way that you usually do it. And that's okay. You know, you don't have to beat up, beat yourself up about it. You don't have to get down. But, you know, at the same time, if it's something that really helped you, like for me, my night routine has been, my night routine has helped me tremendously with just that balance and that consistency and helping me, you know, kind of stay level. So it's something that I, I definitely cherish and I want to continue to, you know, get back to it. And I, um, it's just something that I've been thinking about these last few weeks just with the content and stuff. But so tonight I think I'm going to, you know, take take some time to really do that stretch a nice long stretch maybe a little bit of meditation just really take take some time but it's about 11 o'clock right now so probably probably get in bed around 12 12 30 so I have some time I'm just finishing up some laundry also but yeah man it was a it was a pretty pretty good day tomorrow we got practice lift I got another presentation so got a pretty packed day tomorrow but then we're off on Friday, so I'm really going to cherish that. I was talking to my mom earlier while I was cooking dinner and eating dinner. And my mom, man, she's the wisest person I know by far. And she helps me tremendously, just our conversations. And the wisdom that she gives me is, you know, it's priceless. And I, I, I cherish that relationship so much. But she was talking about, you know, <clears throat> there's a big difference between overcoming and coping. And she said most people, they cope. And the thing with coping is... What coping is, it's you running away from the thing. It's you trying to escape the issue. But once that is, whatever you go to, that outlet that you go to to escape ends or is done with, the pain is still right there, you know. And sometimes it comes back even stronger because you tried to run from or you tried to escape it and it just kind of, you know, made it build up even more. And she was like, you know, on the opposite end of that, like when you overcome it and you face it, you're running through it, you're running to it. You know, and that's a very, very big, big difference because coping is running away and overcoming is running through. And she was like, you know, you really want to focus on overcoming struggles and overcoming adversity and things like that and setbacks and whatever you're dealing with. You know, don't run away from it. Don't try to escape it because at the end of the day, all you're doing is prolonging the issue. All you're doing is allowing it to build up and become bigger and bigger in your life, you know, and you can only run away for so long before it becomes so painful or so big or so hard that you just kind of have to deal with it and you know you'd rather you'd rather the pain of you choosing to deal with it than the pain of it kind of just overcoming you you know so it was just something that me and my mom got into and i'll, I'll definitely go into in, in depth more into that topic with her because it really opened my perspective and she the way that she explained it is so much better than me like i'm trying to explained it the way she did but my mom just has that special way of explaining stuff in such a way that just hits you know and it resonates with you but yeah so i think that's that's gonna wrap up the night if you guys haven't watched the last vlog that's out definitely go do that watch that and yeah we're gonna catch y'all i'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow and we're gonna get to it Deuces.